We got to get into that Clippers Nets game. It was popping. It, it was, was poppin'. a lot of fun. Uh, plenty of scoring to be had, as uh -huh. is per the case of the Nets whenever they play. Like, you just yeah. expect the score. Just take the over, right, for those uh, that are degenerates, like a couple of my friends. Oh, <laughs> on the flip side of that, everybody's like, all right, this is the Nets' big three coming into their own. This is the formidable force that will go through the East. I was actually more impressed with what the Clippers were able to do. They only lost by four points, and it was Kawhi and Paul George and Nicholas Batum. Yes. <laughs> so if that was the big three in this particular instance against James Harden, who had a triple-double, um, I was actually optimistic about the Clippers' chances going down the stretch. No, yeah, I, I wouldn't be too concerned. Like, first of all, we used to roast Nicholas Batum for stealing money from the league, but shout out <laughs> to him for actually coming through for the Clips. Had a comp 21. I, I think late game, Steve Nash showed up and showed, like, why he's going to be an asset coaching-wise. He was the one who directed Jeff Green to be this outlet pass, get the – Puts the games on it puts the game on ice and look Brooklyn gets another impressive win. It's beautiful. Here's my question. Do the Nets actually need I think they're like uh, number 25 in defense right now in the league. Do they actually need to play defense? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do the because there's me. never been an NBA <laughs> champion. That's been less than uh, lower than 11th. I believe is the number but like you cannot you cannot win in this league without playing at least some semblance of defense and by semblance of defense yeah I got five guys out there and they're gonna be there when the other team makes the ball to get the ball back in bounds but like they're putting up a calm 124 and in any given night any one of those three guys can drop a 40 piece Kyrie had 39 of them but at any rate is it sustainable scoring wise yes but like will they be able to get figured out and people you know body them in the paint things like that also yes I, I don't know though like right like what if they don't all go for 30 like that has happened the Houston Rockets missed like 27 <laughs> threes in a row like this is a thing that can happen so I would just be concerned that if you cannot stop a soul you better be able to put up a, a buck 40 every night I mean defense does win championships but if there is any team that can win a championship without playing defense I feel like it's this team but I do want to ask you about Paul George he had up. one free throw last night I think Kawhi had nine do you feel like he was <clears> mad about it after the game did you feel like that was warranted sure disparities and free throws are just like they're subjective there's it, some nights you get the call sometimes you don't also you just got to be like upper echelon class of the elite to expect a certain quota of free throw <laughs> any given night. like no nah, i didn't get my four i'm a paul george type player calls i'm a little upset so yeah i guess in that One regard free throw Put some respect on the man's name. See, one, look, you subscribe to that theory. Yeah, All right, like let's it. just put some respect on Pete. I mean, I know he had his issues, but put some respect. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right, so let's go to some of the best <laughs> things that we've seen in the NBA this week. Let's talk about best record-breaking moment. Fred Van Vliet is a bucket. Yes. He set the Raptors franchise record with 54 points. Wow. Yeah, and also uh, tied for seventh best point performance by any player under 6'1". I am here for the sub six foot gang. We in here. Slash an undrafted <laughs> player putting up north of 50. So, like, he checked a lot of boxes yeah. um, against the Magic. And good for him, too, because we've seen not even an immediate ascension. We've seen, like, season by season, mm -hmm. him being more trusted, him being more of that primary score. So, good on him. And also more paid. And, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, and he also got the bagaroni yes. not too long ago as well. Exactly. So everything's exactly. coming up Fred Van Vliet. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> that a, way. A, G League, a G League success story, but also I love that after the game he was like no disrespect to the magic but and then proceeded to tell them why exactly the magic were, <laughs> were weak and I why he was scoring I on the magic so much but I love that I love that so much all right so fleek, if you next uh, let's talk about Drake because uh, yeah. Drake likes Fred Van Vliet and this is some of the stuff that he said about him I want everybody to just take in the fact that like Fred Van Vliet's Turks and Caicos tan is just on 10 million and that, that boy's looking like Frederico. That's why I keep doing the salsa dance tonight. I don't know if you guys seen it. I don't know if they put me on TV yet, but that boy's looking like Frederico. First of all, I don't know if I've been on TV. You dag on Drake. You know you've been on TV. Quit playing. <laughs> what does that mean, Federico? And low key, like you know you've made it when Drake knows who you are, and you know you've super extra made it when you get a shout out in a song. So Drake, what's good? That's when you. That's when you've made it when yeah. Drake knows who you are. When okay. Drake drops that's your name barometer. in a song. It's a good barometer. Okay, yeah. whatever, whatever. All right, let's talk about best hype man. This guy, Kyle Lowry, recognizes recognizes game. <laughs> Freddy, come to the mix. Yo, yo. That joy, he, he got money, too. <laughs> hey, peep his watch he got on, too.
Look at the watch. <laughs> hey, I know you know what watch. I was about to say, Gary. <laughs> I know you know what watch. We're not gonna do that right now. <laughs> Kyle Lowry though, literally pointing at an AP, talking about look at his watch. Bro, you got a mortgage on your wrist. What are you talking about? But I love this in every facet of like kind of the old head in this regard being Kyle Lowry, like the old grizzled vet kind of welcoming in that new guard, that young buck, who at first he may have been a little bit of apprehensive and a little pensive towards him, but then you know what? He earned his stripes and now he's my boy. I also love DeMar DeRozan coming off the top ropes for Kyle Lowry. <laughs> that was also fantastic. <laughs> Kyle Lowry though, acting like, like he's not a millionaire. <laughs> Chill out. You love to see it. All right, let's go to worst fashion statement. And honestly, I would argue this isn't the worst. Okay. We've seen worse. Christine got this in her closet, don't um, I, I do have some <laughs> pants like that. Maybe not that shawl, but this is Russell Westbrook walking into the game. I, um, the I don't know. What, what, what you mean what? you don't know? He looks like he, he is cool. going he to. He looks cool. He a... looks cool. He okay. looked like a Jeepers Creepers stunt double. <laughs> Here's the thing about Russell Westbrook. Here's the thing about Russell Westbrook. He does whatever the heck he wants to do. And I am not necessarily a fan of what he wears all the time, but I understand that what he's doing is what he's doing. I don't think anybody else can do it. And even though I wouldn't say, oh, he's like best dressed, I would say, wow, he's really pushing the limit. Simply put, Russell Westbrook, every single time he walks into an arena, wears confidence. The clothing is just an accessory. <laughs> in my opinion. Write that down. That was good. I'm done that talking. Was, that was a That's good bar. That was pretty good. That was, that was good. a good 100%. bar. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I will not that deny that. You want me to say it on camera? Russell Westbrook wears confidence into the arena. The clothing is simply an accessory there. Now my face is associated to that tagline. Boom. Hey, yeah. So to the production team, Gary clearly <laughs> wants that clipped off and sent out. Congrats, Gary. I appreciate so, hey, that. Great job on that. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.